I see the fear in those around me and their need for insurance that they are not alone. As an immigrant, I will advocate not just for me or my family, but for everyone that can be heard. I was brought here to the United States when I was seven years old, and ever since then I've been living here in Woodburn. It was hard because I did not know English or anything like I was really um, new. We didn't have buses over there and um, it was kind of a new experience. It was kind of sad because I miss my family over there but it was easier to adapt because as a child you learn faster I guess and I started adapting to this culture. Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, otherwise known as DACA, is an American immigration policy founded by the Obama administration in June of 2012. Across the country, these students and their allies are working to increase their opportunities in the United States. 21-year-old Maricela Vidal is one of them. I'm a full-time student at Chemeketa. I will be graduating this June and attending Pacific University in the fall and pursuing a career in elementary education. Thanks to DACA, like, I have a job that I like. I was able to obtain my license. And uh, you're part of society now, like you're part of us. So um, it was like, like an eye-opening to uh, realize things that most people take for granted. DACA allows certain undocumented immigrants who enter the country as minors to receive a, renew a renewable two-year period of deferred action from deportation and eligibility for a work permit. My first year in college, that's when I started getting involved with like other people who had DACA. Through my advisor, he told me that I wasn't the only one. There's a lot of documented people here um, in Woodburn and in Oregon, but that not, they're not really open about their status because of the things happening right now. He told me to join the Oregon DACA Coalition, which is formed by DACA students. And through that coalition, I was like inspired to like help others. Meeting other DACA people has motivated me to like um, continue thinking posit positive all the time. Parents and I have talked about it, like if they get deported or if one of us gets deported. Um, we've talked about it, like the, our main priority is our younger siblings. So they did a power of attorney letter to my godparents so that they would be in charge if like something like that happened and that they would take like um, care of my younger siblings. I hope it never happens, but if it does, um, I think we know what to do. Mm -hmm. I'm involved because I care about people and um, I think most of the people um, when they face like a difficult situation they just um, instantly like doubt themselves and um, I think what's different for me is that I always try to look at like the brighter side I always believe there's always a solution to like every problem there's about like 750,000 of us, or probably more, but each story is different. I am scared, but if I don't do anything about it, there's not, nothing's gonna happen. We need people to start um, realizing that we are part of their communities. We are their neighbors, we are all over. We're friends, sometimes friends don't know the other friends are undocumented or documented. We really hope that we are given a chance to to become legal residents or and eventually U.S. citizens. Because I mean, we did grow up here. We are contributing to this economy, and um, most of us are good people and are willing to like um, get back to the country that gave us these opportunities. Together, we can build a stronger, more inclusive state for our families, our children and our grandchildren. Si se puede!